Hello, and welcome to another edition of Agudath Shalom's This Week in Jewish History. This week marks the birth date of Jewish scholar and important communal leader, Professor Solomon Schechter. Schechter was born into a family of Lubavitch Hasidim in the town of Foshani in eastern Romania. As a teenager, he traveled to Lemberg, or Lvov, to study under the great rabbinic sage, Rabbi Yosef Shol Nathanson, author of Responsa Shol Umeshiv. From there, Schechter traveled to Vienna, studying in the rabbinical college there for approximately four years. But perhaps the biggest turning point in Schechter's young life came upon his arrival in Berlin, where he enrolled in the Berlin Hochschule für des Wissenschaft des Judentums, or in English, the Berlin Higher School for the, for the Academic Study of Judaism. This Berlin Academy was the world's leading center in the emerging field of historical and academic study of Jewish subjects. It was here that Schechter solidified his talents as an academic scholar of the Talmud and rabbinic literature. Schechter moved to London in order to become a private tutor of, Ju of Judaic studies, private tutoring being a common occupation of emerging scholars at the time. And while in London, his reputation as a Jewish scholar grew, and in 1890, he was appointed lecturer in Talmud at Cambridge University. At this point, we come to the first event which would make Professor, Professor Schechter famous. Years earlier, a collection of historical materials had been found in the attic of the Ben Ezra Synagogue in Cairo, what, became, what later became known as the Cairo Geniza. A number of people had dabbled in removing and studying this collection of manuscripts, but it was not until Solomon Schechter and his partners realized the incredible value of the materials that they began removing them and shipping them back to Cambridge. On the bottom you have a ladder leading to the attic, which housed the Cairo Geniza. The Cairo Geniza contained ancient prayer books, rabbinic responsa, letters and commercial documents from all over the Middle East. Here you see the famous picture of Professor Schechter poring over a manuscript surrounded by piles and piles of material taken from the Geniza. In 1902, Schechter was invited to become president of the Jewish Theological Seminary in New York, or JTS, a position he held until his death. Interestingly, until that point, the differences between Orthodox and Conservative Judaism in the United States were often negligible, or in many cases, not even existent. JTS had in fact been started by a group of Orthodox rabbis, but it was under Schechter's leadership that JTS and Conservative Judaism took on its own distinct identity. Schechter was also instrumental in growing the organizational segments of the conservative movement, founding the United Synagogue of Conservative Judaism, the synagogue arm of the movement. Schechter passed away in New York in 1915. He will be remembered as a monumental scholar and an important communal leader. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.